Chicago's shot spotter gunfire detection contract is over, but the police department is assuring people that its commitment to public safety hasn't changed. Christine Flores is live at police headquarters with a look at what happens next. Christine? Larry and Robin, good morning. Now that the contract has ended, Sound Thinking, the company that owns ShotSpotter, says there will be a 60-day demobilization period. They say they will be giving the police department access to things such as historical gun crime data and other analytical tools in order to ensure a smooth transition. I think other alders are going to call a special meeting. Um, and, you know, I think that they were trying to hold off of taking this to court. Alderwoman Monique Scott of the 24th Ward is one of several council members who have expressed opposing the mayor's stance. At midnight, the relationship between ShotSpotter and the city came to an end. Mayor Brandon Johnson said he would end the contract once he took office, often stating the technology was unreliable and costly to the city budget. In a statement Sunday evening, the mayor said, the ultimate goal is to deploy resources on the most effective strategies and tactics proven to accelerate the current downward trend in violent crime. We have to explore better options that save more lives. He went on to say that the city already has a group working to determine alternative strategies for increasing safety, such as improvements in victim prevention, improving first responders' times, and hiring violence interrupters. It seems to be gone political when you're making a decision based on a campaign promise versus making a reason fact-based decision. On Wednesday, the council voted 33 to 14 to give police superintendent Larry Snelling power over the city's contract. The mayor called that measure illegal, vowing a veto. The council would need 34 votes to override. That could happen at the next council meeting or if alders are confident they have the support, they could call for a special one. I have a lot of empathy and I, I wish that my other colleagues and the administration felt the same way that I felt about my community. It's disheartening to think that this is just to end the end off all end alls. If this was really based on a campaign promise and really not looked at once he, you know, he got into office, I wish that we, you know, we could have sat down and, and discussed this prior to just saying I'm giving the executive order and it's just over. Last night, the police department released a statement saying that while the contract may have ended, their commitment to public safety is still the same. They remind people to call 911 if they hear any loud noises that sound similar to gunfire. Reporting live outside of police headquarters, Christine Flores, WGN News. Thanks.